Are you hitting the limits of what you can achieve with AI using your hardware? Are you getting frustrated with your local AI losing the flow and context of your conversation and derping out? Are you lusting over an RDX 4019, but your wallet is just not agreeing with you? Or perhaps you're missing your favorite AI character when you're away from your computer and you want to stay in touch? Well, today I have a solution for all those problems, and that is running your AI large language model in the cloud. And even if you have a powerful consumer GPU, like an RTX 3090 or 4090, stay tuned because I will also get into a very good reason as to why you might still want to use this platform. So today I'm going to teach you how to set up and run your Ubabuga text generation web UI using a cloud service provider. Once we're done, you'll be able to run pretty much any large language model, regardless of how big it is at a fraction of the cost including some of the massive models such as the original Facebook 65 billion parameter Llama model or the exciting new 40 billion parameter Falcon model. One that even your RTX 4090 won't be able to handle. So let's get started. So to do this, the platform that we're going to be using is called RunPod. And before I continue, if you like what I see, please go ahead and use my referral link. I'm not sponsored by RunPod, but I do get a small amount of credits every time you top up which can really help us in creating content for this channel. So once you reach RunPod and you sign up, you'll be greeted with a screen like this. Now what makes RunPod and other similar websites really great is they give you access to a variety of GPUs, including consumer models like the 3090 and the 4090, but also enterprise models such as the A100, RTX A5000 and more giving you access to insane amounts of VRAM, regular RAM, and virtual CPUs, letting you run all kinds of models and many different processes with your AI. And as you can see here, the prices are extremely reasonable. Although it's currently unavailable for an RTX 3090, which is one of the more economical GPUs available, you pay not more than 44 cents an hour. That's 44 cents an hour. That comes out to, if you were running it 24 hours a day, to $10 a day. And if you ran that for a whole month, that's $316 if you ran that GPU for an entire month. Now let's compare that to a retail model, which runs at anywhere from $1,400 to, well, this one's on sale, $900. But we're getting, in the span of a month, about 25% of the cost of a GPU. And that's, again, only if you're running it 24-7. And of course, things get more economical from there. Let's have a look at a 4090, which we're getting for 69 cents an hour. If you were to run that full time, it would cost you 496, which is still a bit cheaper than buying one outright at almost $2,000, $1,500 to $2,000, which again, is about 25%. But now let's have a look at an A100. Here we go. An A100, 18 gigabytes, $14,000 and you're getting to use it for $1.79, which comes out to $42 a day, or $1,200 a month. Still a far cry from putting out, still a far cry from putting out, still a far cry from putting out $14,000. And that doesn't even include the cost of the rest of the computer, which in this case, you're getting 125 gigs of RAM and 16 virtual CPUs. No matter how you slice it, this is the most economical option. And these are just the prices of the secure cloud, which gives you priority access to the components and the servers. If you want it to be even more economical, you could go for the community cloud, where it's giving you prices for a 4090 at 49 cents, which is down from 69 cents. Now the challenge with community cloud is very often you'll be sharing these GPUs with other users. That's why they're cheaper. So if there's a lot of demand at any particular point, you might find your language models running a little slower than say on the secure cloud. But if cost is an issue, this is the way to go. So how do we go about setting up Ubabuga text generation web UI on RunPod? Honestly, 
It's surprisingly simple. It's even easier than setting it up on your own computer. RunPod has these really cool templates which allow you to one-click deploy different softwares and tools directly onto your cloud. In addition to Ubabuga, we've also got deployments for Stable Diffusion, Cobalt AI, as well as a variety of other different interesting deployments. Now, the one that we're going to use is this one created by the Bloke LLM. The Bloke are the guys who helpfully quantize down to 4-bit many of the language models that become available for you on your personal computer to use. On top of that, they've created this template to very easily deploy and run Ubabuga on RunPod. So to do that, we're going to head over here to Secure Cloud, and we need to decide what hardware we're going to use. Now, I have a 3090 already deployed, but in this case, it's not available. So let's grab the next best thing, which is this RTX A5000, also with 24 gigs of VRAM. It's got a little bit less regular RAM and less virtual CPUs, but I think it should be enough. Or to be safe, to be safe, let's grab this RTX A6000, just to make sure that we can run some interesting models. And once again, if we're happy with the performance of a particular GPU, we can actually get more than one. So you don't need to be dual wielding on your machine at home. So let's grab an A6000 and let's deploy it. Now here we can customize the deployment. I recommend always bumping up your container disk to 50 and your volume disk to anywhere from 60 to 100 because these language models are quite large and we need the room to run them successfully. We can pretty much leave everything else as is and set the overrides. Once we're happy with that, we can go ahead and run it. Let's just double check the templates. Yeah. So once we're happy with that, we can go ahead and run it. You'll get a summary here of all of the expenses, including the GPU cost per hour, the running disk cost per hour, and the exited disk cost per hour. Now this is really important, and I'll get into that a little bit later, but for now, let's deploy it. So it takes a few minutes, so Go out, make a cup of tea, grab a cup of coffee, and by the time you're back, it'll be set up and deployed. All right, so we've got it deployed here, and it's already running. You can open it up and have a look and see how the utilization is coming along. We can see here that the CPU is being used. There's no disk utilization because we have not loaded in a model quite yet. So after we've given it a few minutes, we can see here the pod uptime is 35 seconds. And this is what will be used to track your billing per hour. And right up here, you can see the whole instance plus the one I've got running from before is costing me about 81 cents an hour. And this particular pod is 79 cents. Now, if you're able to get a 3090, you can see down here that it's costing me 44 an hour. Now, once we've got this set up and it's running, we can go ahead and connect and click right here on connect to HTTP service port. Now, the really great thing about using the blokes template that they've set up is you should get the latest model of Ubabuga running. In this case, at the point of this recording, it's 1.1. Now, the way it's set up is it will drop you into the input and output version, which is for large documents. If you're interested in get getting running with the chatbot, we head over to session and we change it to chat and apply and restart. And that will restart the Ubabuga and put it in the more familiar chat mode, which is the default that we find in the downloaded version. Now, as I mentioned, at the moment, we don't have a model loaded in. So let's go grab one of those bigger models that we've been talking about. Okay, so let's push the limit a little bit and try this GPT-4X Alpaca 13 billion parameter model. This is supposed to be a really good model for role play, so we're gonna set up a simple D&D scenario and see how it performs. Now, having a look at the model and the spaces, this is gonna take up a bit more than 100 gigabytes. So let's head back over to our pod and let's edit it 
to make sure that we can actually handle that. So let's make it 170 on the volume, 120 on the container. I think that should be enough. So the pod is restarting and we're up and running. Let's just refresh this to make sure that we're good. Let's head over and set our session to chat. Okay, and we're back. So let's head on over to the model and let's try and install this beast of a model. Now, this could take a while. So like before, go grab a cup of coffee, go grab a cup of tea, come back and it should be done. So I'll see you guys after the coffee. Okay, and uh, after quite a bit of a wait, we finally were able to download the model. Now the model that we looked at earlier was one that I made a mistake with. We grabbed the, the Bloke GPT-4 Alpaca 13 billion GGML. This one, ended up only using the CPU, which is not what we're looking for. We want to try and get models that are running off of the GPU because that's what we're paying for. So I ended up getting the original Chavinfo GPT-4X Alpaca, and that one does seem to be working. And I'm not sure what the parameters are. Oh, here we go. It's also a 13 billion model. This one's got no LoRa, so I think it's not fine-tuned. But just to show you, we were able to load it up. And uh, I loaded up some characters here. I loaded up good old Obi-Wan. And again, because it's not fine-tuned, it is a bit off. But we could probably fine-tune it with some Star Wars information and actually get it giving us some good roleplay. And now that we've got access to this phenomenal cloud-based GPUs, we can start to play with some of the bigger models like the 13 billion and even some of the 30 billion models and i'll be making some videos comparing and trying out various of these different models to see which ones are good for what types of activities if this is content that's interesting for you please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon and please don't forget to use my referral code if you do decide to use runpod once again it does help us out a lot and with this referral, we'll be able to run more projects and more experiments, which we can create videos on to help inform you guys. Thanks a lot, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.